This is a list of individual combat equipment issued by the United States Marine Corps. This list does not include items that are issued as uniforms or weapons and ordnance. Many items on this list have nicknames. See List of United States Marine Corps Acronyms and Expressions. Topic. Defensive Ballistic Vests The Improved Modular Tactical Vest IMTV, is the newest and most advanced vest in marine inventories, with better protection and mobility than previous vests and a quick release. The scalable plate carrier was developed for troops in Afghanistan due to concerns of excessive weight limiting mobility, especially in mountainous terrain. The outer tactical vest OTV, is being replaced by the MTV for most forward units. The personnel armor system for ground troops PASGT, vest remains in some limited use in training and non-deployable units. The full-spectrum battle equipment kit includes a quick-release ballistic vest, integrated breathing and flotation devices, as well as load-bearing equipment. The Combat Integrated Releasable Armor System Ceres, has replaced the FSBEAAV for some units. The PRU-70 for aviators and aircrew combines body armor, survival vest, and flotation device, combat helmets The Enhanced Combat Helmet is a new helmet made of high-strength polyethylene with superior ballistic protection compared to previous Kevlar helmets. The ECH is being issued only to deployed units and will be turned in upon return and given to other combat units. Previous helmets like the LWH are being retained for training and non-combat use. The lightweight helmet LWH can be used with the older sling suspension or a newer pad suspension to fit the helmet to the head, as well as a nape protection system to add ballistic protection to the rear of the head. The MISH TC-2000 combat helmet is issued to some specialized units. The Personnel Armor System for Ground Troops PASGT, helmet has mostly been replaced by the LWH, but can still be found in some units. The Enhanced Combat Vehicle Crewman's Helmet ECVCH, allows the crew of M1 Abrams, AAV, and LAV vehicles to communicate with less restriction on mobility and situational awareness without reducing ballistic protection. Most pilots and aircrew will wear a flight helmet for protection from aviation-related hazards such as an integrated oxygen mask, but typically offers little ballistic protection. The pith helmet is worn not for ballistic protection, but to identify weapons range coaches and other range personnel. Other armor small arms protective inserts SAPI, are used with the MTV and OTV to provide protection beyond what the vest itself offers. SAPI are also available in side plates to protect the torso. Evaporative cooling vests found limited distribution in desert theaters in 2005 and 2006. The OTV can be adapted with the Armor Protective Enhancement System APES, that adds ballistic protection to the shoulder, armpit, and upper arm. The Advanced Bomb Suit is a type of bomb suit used by explosive ordnance disposal, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear defense. The M40 Field Protective Mask is the standard gas mask, but is being replaced by the M50 Joint Service General Purpose Mask. Mission-Oriented Protective Posture MOP, is a NBC suit with overalls, a hooded jacket, gloves, and overboots to protect against direct contact with contaminants. The MKI Nerve Agent Antidote Kit NOC, consists of a pair of auto-injectors containing atropine sulfate and pralidoxime chloride for first aid against nerve agents, and are due to be replaced by the single ATNAA. Topic load bearing and packs the family of improved load bearing equipment Philby is the latest load bearing equipment to be issued to Marines. It replaced the old ILBE due to incompatibility with body armor systems. Philby is made in Coyote, has a modular system and allows its users assemble the configuration to its need. The improved load bearing equipment ILBE is the load bearing equipment and pack which was issues during 2004 to 2012 years. It replaced the mall, was the first to be made in Marpat marine pattern and greatly increases durability, comfort and decreases complexity. 
It comes in a standard, Recon, which adds two side pouches, and Corman versions. The ILBE load equipment provides an improved load-bearing vest and the associated pouches to carry ammunition, grenades, radios, and other items. The USMC pack is being developed to replace the ILBE. Because the ILBE was designed as a modified version of a commercial Arcturix product, it doesn't integrate well with body armor, which can cause stress and injury. After the initial announcement of replacement in 2009, the Marine Corps finalized design requirements after testing and released a solicitation for prototypes in 2011, which resemble the Army's improved version of MAL. All-purpose lightweight individual carrying equipment Alice mixed with some individual integrated fighting system IIFE items remain in some limited use in training and non-deployable units. The standard canvas or nylon sea bag, a militarized duffel bag, has been issued to service members of all branches since before World War II. However, the increase in equipment issued to an individual Marine has made containing and transporting it all in a standard sea bag difficult, a phenomenon nicknamed sea bag drag, in addition to a tactical load bearing pack. The deployment bag holds the same cubic footage, but rugged wheels allow it to roll much like a ruggedized version of commercial rolling luggage. A rubberized waterproofing bag liner has been provided to Marines for decades as a way to protect the contents of a tactical pack from water. Newer versions, known as the stuff sack, have a purge valve to expel excess air to compress the sack. The gunslinger pack allows a scout sniper to conceal and protect his sniper rifle within the pack while on the move. Topic clothing Cold weather clothing Gall Purpose Environmental Clothing System APECS, rather than issue the third generation extended cold weather clothing system ECWCS, the Marine Corps has begun issuing the APECS, consisting of a Marpat parka and pant. The APECS is structurally almost identical to ECWCS shell jacket and trousers. The lightweight exposure suit offers similar capabilities. The Combat Desert Jacket is a lighter suit to protect Marines from the harsh desert climate. The Extreme Cold Weather Parka and Trouser offer heavy protection from cold weather, and include overboots. The Snow Camouflage Uniform is a winter marpat overgarment to camouflage Marines and their equipment in snow. Polypropylene undershirt and underdrawer, nicknamed Polypro and officially known as Silkweight, is a mock turtleneck and trousers designed to be worn next to skin, and designed by Polartec. Flame-resistant versions are available. The grid fleece midweight underwear includes a pullover and pants in green and coyote brown. While the pullover is commonly issued as a warming layer in most locations, the pants are traditionally not issued unless the recipient is expected to face a cold weather environment. Flame-resistant versions are available. A cap made from microfleece is given to Marines in most environments. Cold weather socks and scarfs are also offered to Marines going to cold weather environments. Mountain, cold weather boots, later renamed rugged all-terrain rat boots, and extreme cold vapor barrier boots are given. The overboots are insulated with an air barrier, and include a valve to allow paratroopers to jump with them, while the rat boot is reinforced with chemically impregnated leather for durability and stability. Other the flame-resistant organizational gear frog is a fire and heat protection system designed to help protect Marines from burn injuries associated with roadside bombs. Units with firefighting capabilities Marine Wing Support Squadrons and Headquarters and Headquarters Squadrons are issued firefighting suits and self-contained breathing apparatus. Coveralls or jumpsuits are issued to vehicle crew, mechanics, and other Marines whose duties may render other uniforms unserviceable. They can have varying degrees of fire protection, and come in green and coyote brown to match the seasonal change of utilities from woodland to desert camouflage. Pilots and aircrew typically wear flight suits and flight jackets, as well as G-suit, pressure suits, and life vests as needed. Various gloves are offered by the Corps. Often, most Marines receive simply a woolen liner and leather shell, however, those who require more specialized gloves are issued them cold weather, hazmat, mechanics brand, etc. 
The Marine Corps Combat Utility Uniform has built-in slots for knee and elbow pads, but many Marines prefer to purchase their own pads. The Commandant has authorized units to purchase knee and elbow pads for uniformity. The Corps is also contracting to receive protective silk underwear in use by the British Army. While not designed for ballistic protection, the so-called blast boxers do provide wound mitigation to groin injuries. Topic. Other The individual first aid kit IFAK, is used for immediate battlefield treatment. It includes several bandages, a tourniquet, burn ointment, some water purification tablets, and quick clot antihemorrhagic, hemostatic agent. The Army utilizes an IFAK with different contents, but a similar purpose. In 2010, the quick clot powder was replaced by quick clot combat gauze, a kaolin infused gauze bandage. Individual water purification system allows Marines to purify water to potable standards. These can be compatible with the standard issue hydration pack, similar to Camelback brand packs. Of course, plastic one-quart canteens are issued as well, with a metal canteen cup and stand. Several types of eye protection are offered, including ballistic goggles and sunglasses made by Eye Safety Systems, Inc. and Wiley X, and are available with prescription lens inserts. Ballistic hearing protection is a two-sided earplug that offers Marines protection from audio damage. The entrenching tool or E-tool is standard issue to all Marines to prepare defensive fighting positions. All Marines usually receive a foam sleeping mat, a modular sleep system with a light, heavy, and waterproof sleeping bags to allow the user to adapt to ambient conditions and a compression sack to hold them, and a tarpaulin or waterproof poncho and liner that doubles as an expedient blanket. The Vietnam War-era olive drab plastic angle head flashlight running on D-cell batteries with colored lens filters purchased at recruit training was deemed unsuitable for combat in 2007, and a replacement from Streamlight was fielded in 2009. The Sidewinder handheld flashlight HHFL is lightweight with a head adjustable over 185 degrees of movement, light-emitting diodes providing five intensities each of white, red, blue, and infrared light including a strobe function, helmet mount, and runs on AA batteries. Aside from providing illumination, this smaller and lighter flashlight can be used for signaling and detecting blood residue. There is no standard tactical light. Many Marines choose to purchase their own. The Martial Arts Kit Mach allows units to train Marines in the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program. It contains all of the pads, gloves, props, and other safety aids that allow an instructor to successfully teach the program. The Mechanical Breachers Kit MBK allows an assault breacher to breach a door or other obstacle. Various mountain warfare items have been fielded, including snowshoes, skis, climbing kits, and portable, camping stoves. Numerous parachutes are used, such as the Static Line T-10 and T-11, military free fall parachute system, and various aviation-specific models used for aircrew survival. Topic. Historical items. The following items are obsolete and no longer issued. Armor flak jacket. Door and plate. M1 helmet. M1917 helmet. Brody. Helmet load bearing equipment mall. M1956 load carrying equipment. Modernized load carrying equipment. Various types of haversacks were issued in World War I. OTHERM-1965 Field Jacket M1951 Field Jacket M1941 Field Jacket P42 Jacket P38 Can Opener Mess Kit